Sup guys, Juggalo here, and welcome to another impromptu video. Been very busy working overtime and all that fun stuff, but I'm going to go over pretty much all the equipment that I'll be using that I have received for now. So I'm going to go through the fans for the 480 millimeter rad and the 360 millimeter rad. I'm going to be using the gentle, uh, excuse me, gentle typhoon 2150 RPM fan. It seems I'm always messing that up. But anyways, get them through dosmod.com. So that's where I got those. So I got seven of those. Um, next thing I really don't have to unbox because of people already know what it is. It's the XSPC Raystorm for Intel socket 2011, 1156, and 1150. To go along with the Raystorm, I did get a bracket. So it'll be solid black right here. This is all metal, no LED or anything like that. This right here is out of aluminum. A lot of people were complaining about the plastic or I should say acrylic top bending. This isn't going to bend my friends. So all you have to do is put the excess PC bracket right here if you want. Hook it up. You're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the packaging because I don't want to get scratched or anything like that. Um, next thing. I haven't even opened up this stuff yet. Nor am I going to try to take it out of the uh, box but if I have to I will okay this right here what the heck's this oh silica but anyway this right here is the water block for the chipset right here and there's a person with their bass loud that's ridiculous and stupid spends more money on the sound system than the car itself that's what I have noticed anyway so we have the chipset water block right here this will go on top of where the PCI, or not PCI, but where the CPU is. Up at the top, that is where this is going to be located. Second, this is going to be the uh, Northbridge chipset right here. Water block. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic wrapper because I'm not ready for mounting yet. Of the products. And then... You get thermal pads, some really small screws, hence why I'm not taking them out. You get really small washers. So there are the screws, and that's why I'm not taking them out. If I lose that, I will be screwing myself over <laughs> and not knowing where the stuff is. Okay. Moving on. Let's see what next, or what next thing I should do. Next is the XSPC EX radiator. This has been sitting underneath my bed for a while, but here it is. I think I showed it before, and I'm only going to take a little bit of it out because it's going to be a pain in the butt putting it back in. But here is the EX radiator right here. It's slim design. I'm still deciding what 140 millimeter fans I want to use for it. Okay. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, why don't you take it out of the wrapping? Uh, so I'll do that when I'm ready to install it in my case once I get everything. Again, I still have to spend another 500 bucks or so to get everything I want for the water blocks, fittings, tubing, um, and or tools I might need, and a, I'm trying to think what else, I think that's it. All I need is GP, uh, GPU water blocks, um, 140mm fans. Tubing fittings, excuse me, in a tap die set. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. All right, next up, we're going to do the RX version 3 of the RX 360. Then I'll do the RX version 3 of the 480. But I'll just show a little bit of it. But I think you'll pretty much get an understanding of what they look like. Version 3s are pretty much going to be similar, except it's just going to be a bigger radiator. So I will be showing the RX360. This is the first time me even taking this lovely radiator out of the box. And there are some differences compared to the version 2. Alright, first up you get... Oh wow, okay. Here are your screws for your fans. And to hold the radiator in place as well. You also get two stoppers as well um let me see how to take this out without damaging anything okay so 
Let me see if I can do this. All right. Oh, so it even has paper to protect the um the rat itself. Okay. Very weird, but okay. I have never seen this before, so give me one second. Okay. All right. Now, the moment of truth of you guys wanting to know. This is the RX version 3 radiator. I believe they said it's a little bit um, skinnier than the rad itself. Uh, the, the version 2. Also, check it out. You have two, or technically four points. Two on the top right here, then two on the side right here. Where you want to mount your radiator uh, bands. Or not bands, wow. Your tubing. That was a big fail right there. So tubing. This is where you're going to mount your tubing. I'm kind of doing this as a one take video. So just give me some slack. All right. Okay. 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 There we go. That's all nice and neat. And then keep the screws with the screws for the red. And I believe all the red uh, screws are going to be, for the long ones anyway, to install your fans are going to be, um, of course, the foam or whatever is getting in the way of the box closing. Okay, there we go. All the red uh, fan screws are going to be 6 32nd by a inch and a half. So if you don't like the standard look of the fan uh, screw you can go to your like ace hardware and they have a plethora of different screws that are black and everything like allen head um, screws that's what they're called I guess allen head cap screws that's what they're called and um, they have a plethora of that all you need is 6 32nd inch and a half and you'll be good to go okay next up is the RX 480 radiator version 3 and I got all these uh, parts from coolertech.com if you see something on their website that they do not have just ask him and he will be more than willing to work with you to see what he can do okay so again you get lovely screws right here put them to the side you're gonna have the radiator in foam and in paper again so let me go ahead and do this. So it's going to be the same thing basically. Just a bigger radiator. <sighs> Creating more of a mess. I love it. But anyways, here is the RX version 3 radiator itself. Again, you're going to have the two ports right there at the bottom and right there at the side and here is the old version ugh, of the RX version 3 radiator and I'm gonna see if I could show you guys the difference between the thickness of it so there we go I got them lined up the best I can well here let me do this I'll flip it over to where the ports are being exposed at the bottom so it'd be more of a better layout. So here we are. And then here, I'm not sure if you could tell right away, but there you go. You can kind of see the spacing, but it's a little bit shorter than the version 2 compared to the version 3 radiator. So I won't be using these guys. I'm going to be using the uh, version 3, version 2. I don't know if I'll ever use them again. Again, I'm trying to sell them, but I'm trying to sell them locally, as I already said that before in my other video about the STH-10. Then I am getting some work done at the CNC shop because I do not trust my hands on the side panels. 
And what I mean by that is that um, I'm getting all the mesh removed from the uh, bottom side and the top side of the case, like top side, bottom side of the case. So that's what I mean. And then at the very top right here, the very top of the case, I'm getting mesh removed from there too. And I'm, ouch. These things are very, oh man, that did not feel good. I'm sure you guys heard that. But anyways, you get a laugh on my end, huh? But anyways, I will be doing at the top is a um, acrylic, custom acrylic window. And when I mean custom is because I have to cut out the acrylic and I have to drill into the acrylic and the top of the case. How big that window is going to be, I'm not sure yet. Um, the CNC guy uh, said that there are going to be rounded edges for the um, case. And I am also doing the front radiator bay mount for the 360 radiator. So it'll be a 360 flex bay radiator mount for the STH-10. I'm getting all that mesh grill um, all taken out as well. Reason being is probably I might, to see if this works, might put uh, excess, or not excess, but the dark... Uh, smoke gray acrylic that I have I'll put it in its place of where the mesh should be and I'll use L brackets with some screws and hold it into place and then from there I would also have to put 320 millimeter holes for the radiator bands to get air bottom will be the 560 radiator the tops gonna be the 480 radiator again I might use acrylic window for that and use uh you know do 420 millimeter holes or I might go through MNPC tech to get some of those grills and then have them where it's going to be flush or semi flush with the window so you guys can actually see in there what it looks like so I think that would be cool too I think that is the end of my video right now so yeah fun stuff um he said hopefully be done by today if not I'm not in a rush to get it because I still need more moolah to get what I need so yeah thank you guys for watching this video and the support and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button and you guys have a great day now bye